What's up YouTube? Today I got the new Costco exclusive item, the four pack kind of like tins. As you saw, you got like four of the Evolution ones and I'm pulling on and there's another variant which I'll open up in another video. But I'm just going to do this one for this video because of how slow it can be. But these were about 67 or so in the store and then online they sell them two for like I think 77 or 70 something so it's like $10 more. Um, but I think, like I said, kind of like the previous one, um, uh, this is online, uh, I don't think you need the membership, but in person you need to be your Costco member. Um, but I think usually these tend to retail for like $25 each, you know, each have five packs. Um, I think the three Evolution ones have the same packs and the Polyon one doesn't because they're wrapped differently too. And Polyon one actually has plastic around it all the evolution ones do not so we'll open these up and see what packs they got in them i think the evolution ones have pretty good packs of different but i think like two of all of them and two you know i think there's two astral and like two lost origin i don't remember actually but we'll see so this is the important one i think with the other vein uh, these that's in the next video it's kind of like the same because there's like a tyranitar and like three other ones um that are pretty similar if i remember correctly but we'll see when i open so let's see this one too fusion two evolving and a chilling that's kind of similar to the packs open in the last video like the, um what was it called the mystic what, wonders or something i don't remember what it was always i think one fusion Two chilling and two evolving, or two, no, two lost origin. Um, two chilling, I think. Yeah, so, we'll see how these tins go. Hopefully, they're better than last uh, video's tins. Those ones were kind of, eh. they weren't like bad, bad, but they weren't like um, anything crazy. But, like I said, kind of, tins don't seem to get like crazy pulls all that like too often usually it's like kind of like three pack blisters and like obviously booster boxes usually are decent like kind of like half and half <laughs> it depends sometimes they're like or sometimes they aren't which is kind of like you expect them to be decent for 36 packs but sometimes 36 packs not that great unless it's like a really like a good set that has a lot of um like kind of like trainer gallery so you have like chance and um other pulls all right here yeah i guess this code card three four water no nope, water that's the new i think i guess pretty often too when i got it right i think like two or three times club of us cast no money Beedrill, that's the first hit technically, hollow. Two more packs out of this tin, both evolving skies. Oh. Alright. And there's that code card too. I'm hoping for that Umbreon altar reaching for the moon. Oh, I think we got a hit in here. Hopefully it'll be something crazy. For baby. Rog and Roll, Psyduck, Swablu, I skipped one, C dot badge, and ooh, V Max, that's a nice SVR. Fortunately, you can't get that as an alternate art here unless it's the V, which is a cool alternate art, but the V Max. It's so weird they put that in Fusion Strike. I guess the Volume Skies are just too big with all the alternate parts as it was, because there's a lot, but like, it'd be nice to have in here. Alright, I'll just go through this one kind of fast. Spirit Mask. Alright, well, kind of what I expected. Nothing too crazy. Just a, like a V-Max and a Hollow. Alright. Well, now let's move on to the Evolution Tins. I'll start with the Sylveon. Um, there's no like, Rip Tab on here, is there? Is there no Rip Tab on here? Wow, there's usually... Oh, is it? Oh my god. That is, is that, that's not... I can't. They usually put a Rip Tab on here. What the hell? Um, that's done. I'll be right back. Get stars. 
Bright stars fusion and evolving and chilling, right? That's okay. A little bit better. Um, I don't know. Next question. I just don't like fusion and chilling rain too much. They're so hard to get anything good, and there's only like a few good cards. There is good cards, but like, I just, yeah. And then tins just aren't easy to pull anything from, so it just kind of compounds and makes it a even that much more rough at times. I'll open the wall there. Oh, this is an old evolving. Interesting. It's an old code card. Skip through this because there's nothing in here. That wasn't the order. I, I completely messed up my flow. Alright. Fusion strike. Mmm. I don't know. It's hard to say if these teams are worth it. Um, for the price, I think they are. Because, uh... You get four tins, so 20 packs, for like $67, so, like I said, originally these tins are like around um, 25 each, so usually like if you got all four individually somewhere, um, it'd be like $100, so you're saving a good amount if you go in person, and even online, it's a good deal. So I'd recommend it, it just, uh, obviously, you know, the pull rate's just kind of rough at times. Same with like repaint, reprint ETBs. If it's like a reprint of an ETB set, it's so rough. The pull rate's, I don't know, it's just like rough all around. It sucks. If you're not, not like opening like the first print wave when the. Wow, dude, did I get not one hit out of here? Oh my god. Hey, yeah, oh my. That was a horrible tin. I don't know if I got a hollow here. Hey. Right, I made like an opening up here. I just, it's not working as well as I hope. Evolving. Oh, this one's different. What? Fusion Strike? Uh, huh. Okay. I thought all the evolution ones were. Um. Oh, this one's code is wrong. Interesting. Alright, you can have that code. One, two, three, four. This tin is a little messed up, I guess. Well, not messed up, but. Different. Definitely better pack selection, I guess. Because there's more uh, evolving and chances at it and only one fusion strike hopefully that equates to at least uh, a good pull but that's how rough it is oh there's one just hope it's not you know only a hollow oh v star i forgot those about those <laughs> blunder Munchin, Milk Free, Cure Blast, Clefairy, Truby, oh, skip one, Golet, and, oh, nice, there we go, Alternar, Vis, Arceus, there, oh, this tin has definitely been redeemed with this, there we go, this is like, oh, such a nice looking card, reminds me of the promo too that they made, because it looks very similar to how they did the promo for the, um, the Arceus, like, um, tin. Yeah, this is a cool one. Fortunately, I'm uh, I'm hoping for that Charizard too. So, hopefully, we can pull that. Well, Arceus, Arceus, definitely a good one. Definitely needed to redeem uh, these tins. Oh, another right here. I guess for water. Well, I don't think any. I don't think the. Uh, 
Oh, Espeon, I can't think of <laughs> gonna beat this tin. I guess that everything was kind of put into that. Ooh, Denene. I like how colorful this uh, character area is. Nice. And, wait, that was a black and white code card, huh? Interesting. But it gave me a, wait. Okay. For a second I thought it gave me a, a card from a different set, but at least it gave me that character. That Denene has so much color in it, it looks so nice. It really pops. All right. Can I get a double alternate in one tin? It's probably very, 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 very rough, but I mean, hey. It can happen, right? Please? Maybe? I wanted to. Water. Grass. Flow it. Fold or blob effect. Pop it. Swab lose Aurora. Cryogonal hit one chain. Stoutland. Alright. Last pack from this tin. Another evolving. So yeah, if you have a look across the city, these are, I don't know, like I said, the pull rates are rough, but for the price, it's worth it, because you're getting a lot, and, you know, never know, your pulls could be different than mine, I only have one of um, each, so. That's not a good kind of selection of it, it's always random, and I got an alternate, so I can't complain. Shall I go on? and another Espeon VMAX. I got an Espeon VMAX in the, in the um, Sylveon and the Umbreon. I wonder if I got an Espeon VMAX in the Espeon one. Interesting. Full Espeon time. Just think of the Espeon VMAX alternate art. Unless I get out of the Fusion Strike pack in here, if there is one. Which I'm assuming there is one in here. I don't know why, like, the entire innards of the box just come out. I have to fuse to, like, stay in there. How they designed it or something. That. Organize all of this somehow on the fly. It's a mess. As you can hear. Alright. Brilliant, brilliant fusion evolving and chilling. Okay. So. The Umbreon was different than that. I think that they make it random. So I think this is like their typical pack selection. And then sometimes if you're lucky enough, you might get an extra evolving instead of a chilling. Um, and the evolution style one, maybe. I don't know. So but I think that's kind of like the pack of variants you're gonna get. So you might get one or more of another, um, but you never know how it's gonna go. But those are like the four variants of packs, fusion, evolving, brilliant and chilling so you could get a little, one more of one another one of one obviously if you get two brilliant and two evolving and then um one of the other ones i think that's what makes it more worth it but you can't really guarantee that because you don't know which i think is their way of uh handling things all right i guess that fusion strike i guess fusion strike just wants to be upside down or backwards water Oh, energy of the dark. Right. Um, yeah, these tins okay. overall are, like I said, definitely you get your money's worth. You just have to, the thing is like spending enough 67. And if you don't get anything like crazy good, which you might not out of only 20 packs, but you know, you never know. I got that uh, alternate at least, which is definitely a big, uh, redeeming factor for me, but other than that, I don't feel like I got very much out of these tins. But at least with like the Evolution ones, you get Evolution promos, and those are kind of nice to have. Oh, an old style pack. But we'll go through it. And then we'll be on the last two packs of the video. Brilliant stars. Gosh, man. This last one. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten a pull yet. Water. Ugh. Hopefully I can get a trainer gallery or something. Oh, wow, these cards feel really slick. Duskull, Farfetch'd, Pachirisu, Magmortar. Man. <laughs> the only good one, I think, was the Umbreon. It, only, that's, it had an alt art, but everything else. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Last pack. I'm hoping, uh... We end on uh, 
something good, but if not, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely, you know, comment down below what kind of things you'd like to see next. Um, I have like two more videos kind of planned upcoming, and then uh, I'm gonna have to go find other stuff. Uh, I think by the time like, the last videos are out, the um, Silver Tempest might be out, because I only do like one, two videos um, a week, so. We are ending on Warmer Down. Wow, that tin didn't have anything in it, did it? What? Oh my gosh, right? Um, let's see. We still have some of the last week's pulls too. Arceus, yeah. Oh my gosh. Those, those are really rough pulls. Without this Arceus, Alton Art, man, I'd, I'd be really sad to get those tins. But, I mean, they had a ton of them there. I just picked the wrong box, I guess. But hopefully you enjoy, and we'll see you next video. Peace.